preparations are underway for Officer Swayze's funeral tomorrow. Thousands are expected to pay their respects and line the streets for his procession. Carity News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us live at New Life Church where that ceremony will be held. Emily. James and Rana, a group is working here at New Life Church until late into the night to get ready for this funeral service. When we were out here earlier this evening, we also saw a group of law enforcement. They're putting together a plan for the crowd. Now, New Life is expecting this to be a full house. And for New Life, that means about 4,000 people. And they're also planning on overflow. People in the community today also helped out with preps. They signed this banner thanking first responders for their service. This will be hung at Swayze's funeral. So the thought was, how, how can I be a part of this? How, how can we begin to, again, change the narrative of this city that is not defined by outsiders, it is defined by us? The funeral starts at 1 p.m. and New Life is asking for the public to get here at 11:30 and park in the Pikes Peak Community College South parking lot. Now, if New Life Church does fill up, they said there will be overflow seating. And now, after the funeral, there will be a processional to the cemetery. Roads will be temporarily closed while it passes, and it's going to begin at New Life Church. Travel down I-25 to Garden of the Gods Road. It will pass UCCS and head south on Union Boulevard, and the procession ends at Evergreen Cemetery. Now we are going to be at the funeral as long as the processional route with team coverage. We're also going to be streaming the service on Cardio.com. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen, Cardio News Channel 13. All right, thank you so much, Emily. Kier